Hi, this is Jeff Lesher with What's the Point? And there are going to be a couple sports themes involved in this week's double header. The first is which there's a double header because, I don't know, the Major League Baseball playoffs are ongoing and they're very exciting so far, at least to me. But there also are two very important stories in the news currently that make important points for leaders and really for all of us seeking to exist productively within our respective communities. So the first one which I'm going to tackle has to do with we are what we think and we say what we think. And the second, which will be in a separate video, has to do with selecting people with the expertise in a particular area to help us guide decisions and actions versus letting lay people make the final decisions about things that we don't know as much about. So here's the first one, inspired, not surprisingly, by the resignation of Las Vegas Raiders NFL football coach John Gruden, very high-profile character who was getting paid $10 million a year and over a significant period of time revealed in his communications with friends that he's a very bigoted person because he repeatedly used slurs against women, against gays, against African Americans and probably far more. These weren't isolated. They weren't locker room talk or whatever the heck that is. They were mean spirited and they revealed the ugly nature of the way he and many other people think. And it was revealed in the context of an investigation of the Washington football team. So here's a bit of an irony. If we're gonna hold people accountable for what they think and how they express themselves repeatedly over time, who they are. And that's the case with John Gruden, former NFL coach, unlikely to ever be a head coach, certainly again in uh, the league and, and I would expect anywhere. Uh, thankfully, he worked for four years at $10 million a year. So hopefully off that $40 million, he can scrape by for his remaining years. Um, but what about the Washington football team? That's a head coach. That's a pretty significant position. But the owner of the Washington football team is the head of an organized syndicate of abuse. And this has been revealed through a number of sources. These emails are only the most recent example of the vile nature of the people who were in charge of the organization for years under the guidance at the behest of the owner still in place. So in an organization, long story short, you cannot maintain credibility if the apple is rotten at the core and to the core. You can peel off as many layers as possible and it's still rotten. So people are what they think and they say what they think. So when they reveal themselves repeatedly, consistently over time in particular ways, that do not align with your, or in the case of Gruden's, anybody's principles. They should not. That is, hatred is out. Bigotry should be out. This is not a point of view. This is nastiness. That person needs to be out. And if they can rehabilitate themselves, great. They didn't mean to hurt anybody. Bullshit. Because okay? they did. Because they used mean language to be, in fact, mean. And... It doesn't stop with him. It didn't start with him. It needs to involve everybody who is accountable at, or everybody who's involved and they should be accountable. And Daniel Snyder, owner of the Washington football team, he should be squarely in the sights of the National Football League if they want to demonstrate that that's not how they think, that's not who they are. That's the way we need to be in order to be true to whatever values we profess. And if those values are inclusion and acceptance and you know, at least the lack of negative bias and hatred, then people who have consistently demonstrated that they don't act and operate that way need to be out, need to be out. So hopefully Roger Goodell will get this message, not through me, but through the circumstances and the league will deal with one of the core issues of their problem, which is a guy who owns a team, not a guy who's hired by an owner of a team. That's the point.